Assalamu alaikum students and welcome to Alama Iqbal Open University series of program for business administration the course title for which is management information system I'm your host Kumal Tariq and the subject expert with me is Mr Tanveer Ansari welcome sir thank you very much Kumal there are certain elements of information system students which is timeliness accessibility form and validity uh, sir would you please kindly explain what are these elements yeah Timeliness is very important for any, every information. Mm -hmm. If the information is there and it is not timely available to anybody, so it is useless. Exactly. Similarly, ex information is there and it is not accessible to you. Yes. And third is the form. In the, uh, the information should be in the form that you want it. Exactly. And the fourth is validity. Information is there, but it is 5-10 years old, so what is the use of it? For example, if there is a current affairs issue, yeah. and you are discussing it after three, four days, then it's not going it's to be no valid use. anymore. Yes. All right. And now I'm going to ask our respected sir, what is the role of information systems? Okay, Kamal, you have seen these uh, information systems or the computers being used almost everywhere. Mm -hmm. So we can uh, divide the uses of computer in basically three basic roles. All right. The first role that the information system can play is uh, its support of business processing uh, and operations. All right. Like in departmental stores, you have seen these uh, sales counters. There are computers, and these computers are recording your sales. Exactly. Okay. And whenever you uh, submit your purchases over there, it yeah. checks the retail prices and the validity and all. And not only that, it uh, it is also keeping track of the which items are being used. All right. And how uh, many uh, items are being used? Uh, how many items are being used, and what is the quantity or the inventory? All right. It is also maintaining the in inventory of the okay, okay. yeah of all the. Does items. it also maintain uh, if the things are w if they have run out of things or not? Yes, they do. Okay. That's why they are maintaining the they are maintaining inventory. Now we come to the second role, which tells support of decision making by its employees. All right. And managers, and what the decision making is, it you can get in the graphic form what the inventory level of a. Uh, of a particular item is so okay, so that you can order it, uh, order it before you run out of okay, it. Okay. So indi it indicates itself that you are running out of the particular item. Item. All right. Yes. That's great. The third role is competitive advantage, and if you that means you can use these uh, latest IT technologies to gain advantage over your competitors. Okay. Like for example, you have seen the one uh, uh, book center. They have installed computers, mm -hmm. and you can search your book, okay? Okay, by putting the name by inside. By putting the name okay. inside. Instead of going, uh, instead of asking the salesman All or right. looking for the book yourself, so you'd right. like to go to that shop where you can have easily access to your items. Okay? So students, I hope that you're getting an idea that it is a very advanced uh, sort of uh, technology and very helpful kind of a technology as well. Yes. Students, there are certain components of uh, information systems as well, which are hardware, software, data, communication channels, as well as end user. So what are these? Please explain. Yeah, okay. All the information systems are basically made of these five components. Okay. By hardware, we, we mean the computer that we are using. Exactly, and the machine itself. The machine itself. And okay. not only the machine, but, but all its peripherals. Okay. Monitors, keyboards, mouse, and everything. And every supporting element of the hardware. Every supporting element of the hardware. And then the software naturally means the software that we, that is being run in it. That is being run in it. The programs that are being specifically designed for that purpose. So by data, we mean whatever data we are inserting in that machine? Yes, okay. all the information that we feed into the computer is called data. All right, and what do we, we mean by the communication channels? Communication channel means uh, the linkage, the cables, or it could be wireless, or it could be cables and wires, okay, okay, through okay. which all these components are connected to each other. Okay. Yes, interlink. And the end user means me the or you, the person who, who yes, is using anybody that who is machine. Using it. So what are the activities of information systems? Okay, now you have the computer and you have the user. Now how to put data into it and how to use it. That's where these activities of information system comes. Okay. The activities are basically three major activities, the input okay. and the processing All right. and the output. Okay. And in between we can have a storage and the controlling as well. Okay, okay. Yes. The input is whatever the information you are putting into the computer is called input. All right. Whether it could be through keyboard or it could be through mouse. Or it could be through the touch, the, the, the touch biometric screen, or biometrics, or everything. That's or even the eye, uh, which is eye sensing. Eye sensing. Yes, very true. But whatever the data you put inside, it has to be stored somewhere. 
Right. And there should be methods for retrieving that data. Exactly. Okay, that is, that is called the storage and retrieving. Okay. And then comes the output. In what sort of uh, output you get, you want to get the data, whether you want to see it displayed on the screen. Whether you want a receipt out of it. Or you want to, right. you want a printout, or mm -hmm. you want uh, anything, anything, that yeah, anything. In any form that you in want In any it. form, yeah. All right, all right. So are we going to move towards the next type? Yes. Okay. Uh, so what are going to be the trends of information technology? Yes, the, in, in, in fact, the, uh, this, the trends of information system started fr from the time when the computer invent was invented, back oh, in the 50s. Okay, okay. The computer was uh, of very huge size. Oh, okay. Yeah, and the data used to be stored through the punch cards. Okay. And, and it then was it was a little harder to retrieve the data. Uh, very hard. And it you was used taking to too much space as well. Uh, not only that, but you used to get uh, the, uh, the output only in one form that okay. was printed form. Okay, okay, okay. You used to have the bulks of pages. Okay. So then they came to the second phase in mid-60s. The small computers were invented. Okay. And the uh, output used to be displayed on the screens. That, that was much easier than the reading through all the pages. Exactly. And then came another form of computers that was even more advanced. Yes, and now we are talking of the PCs. Exactly. And you can you can have computer uh, even you can use iPad in your bed. And, and it's palm. Uh, you can palm even tops, hold it in your yes, palm. Yes. It's become so friendly. Okay, students. Now I'm going to ask, sir, what are the types of information systems? Come, there are various types of information system, but we'll be talking of only the major types of information systems, okay? So all the information systems can be divided into three major categories. Okay. The first category is man operations management system. All right. Which can further be divided into three subcategories. Okay. Transaction processing systems, process control systems, and enterprise systems. In transaction processing system, it used to be with, with the time of the mainframes, okay. where you be, they used to gather data okay. the whole day long. And at the end of the day, they used to process his, this data in the computer, and the user would get the output the next morning. All right. So it was sort of one transaction at a time. Okay. okay. And it was time consuming as it well. It was time consuming, and there were, it was 24 hour delayed. Okay. So what the, were the process control systems? Yeah, the process control systems are still being used, mm -hmm. and these are basically used in the industries. Okay. They can use these microprocessors in various uh, to control various processes within right. the industry. So basically, it is industry based. Industry based, the yes. flow of petrol, the flow of like petrol, that. or flow of anything. Okay. The third is enterprise collaboration system. Okay. These enterprise collaboration systems are being used in various organizations. In fact, almost in all the organizations, all organizations now, and they are being used to interact these employees with each other. Okay. Instead okay. of going from desk to desk and discussing, they can discuss sitting at their desk, they can discuss with each other, okay. or even they can have discuss it with the with their colleagues in some other city. Which is a intra sort of a system intra, within the internet. In there is also called intranet, and they, we call it uh, a video conferencing okay. when you're interacting with the with your colleague in some other city. All right, okay. so what is the next one? Second is uh, management support systems. Okay. This can also be divided into three categories, management information systems, decision support systems and executive information systems. Okay. Mostly these systems which help management uh, for various uh, reports is, uh, are called management information systems. Okay. But those critical reports which help you decide something like mm -hmm. which I item to discontinue mm. or which area to be emphasized more for your particular product okay. are called decision support systems. All right. And the summary of all these systems in the executive form which is easily retrie retrievable to executives, mm -hmm. okay, is called executive information systems. All right. And the third one is, sir? And the third one is, uh, the uh, there are various systems which can be expert systems, okay. or the knowledge management systems, All right. and strategic information systems. In expert systems, you basically feed knowledge of an expert mm -hmm. into the computer. Okay, it may be a doctor, it may it be an may engineer, be, yeah, it any may be expert. an instructor, yes. any expert of the subject. Yes, okay. and, that, uh, and you just feed the symptoms of the disease and computer will tell you okay. what the disease is. That's very efficient. Yes, and the second is knowledge management systems. In fact, you have seen these uh, many uh, softwares 
where there are frequently asked questions. All right, very true, very true. Yeah, there is a knowledge management system that okay. you basically feed the knowledge of the systems or anything into the computer. And then it replies then it you replies on to asking. Then it replies to your, yeah, to your various questions. All right, all right. And what are the strategic ones? And strategic systems are, are the ones that give you the strategic uh, decisions. Okay. To, that helps you make strategic decisions for mm -hmm. your competitors. All right. Sir, uh, what are the managerial challenges of uh, information systems? Yes, every new uh, technology comes with some challenges. Exactly. Similarly, we have many challenges in IT. Yes, very true. And, I t and we, when we talk about IT, the challenges are, I believe, much more because every day the technology is getting more and getting more advanced. Getting more and more, yes. So we have the IT, IS, uh, information system solution development challenges. Okay. Okay. And that will be that we can have development of successful information systems, like the one which is particularly tailored for your need. And the second is the expertise of developers. Okay. That you may not get exp expertise in that particular field. Right. Then the availability of the state-of-the-art computers, okay. like you may not have that latest machine that you want for your particular need. So would you please explain more what do you mean by state of the art? State of the art means the latest computers. Okay, okay. Which is totally up to date and all the latest ones. All the latest uh -huh. ones uh -huh. and having all the facilities that you require. Okay, I believe kids are much more advanced than the elders these days Naturally, in those yes. technologies. They are most, uh, more expert than us in uh, using mobiles. Exactly. Even there are small computers built in the mobiles. Hmm. Very true, very true. And the third is the challenge of ethics. Mm. This is very crucial. You must right. have these hackers, you must have heard these exactly. hackers and you know. Every now and then you keep on updating your system and then you have a threat that anyone might hack it and get all your data. Get all there. your data. Exactly. So the security issue is the main issue. They, they, they is there. Okay. Sir, what are the uh, information system solution development challenges? Solution development means like I talked earlier that there are not much expertise available. All right. And similarly, there are career IT careers that the recruiting staff with proper qualification is problem faced by okay. many IS managers. Okay. And the technology literate manager will know how and where to use that particular technology. Hmm. So the, that means that he's the expert of the subject. Yes, we should have expert at the manager level as well as to the user or the programming level. Okay. Okay. Sir, so are there any uh, tutorials or courses for the users because they uh, are not having any sort of inf uh, degree or any sort of proper uh, qualification about it? Yeah, we didn't have it, but now we have uh, many institutions which are offering the latest uh, courses in computer mm -hmm. and we also have the online courses. Okay. So it's easy so it for is, a user Yeah, it is not much problem now. The okay. it, like it used to be a couple of years or five, six years back. Okay. So what are you going to teach us next? The next is the information technology strategy. Okay. And, and the strategic, strategic advantages. advantages as well. Yes. yes. Basically, what is this all this, uh, this information all about, system is exactly. all about? To take advantage for the humans, yes. obviously. So I believe uh, what I think is that the first advantage might be it lowers the cost. Yes, it does. Okay. The IT use substantially reduces the cost of the business processes. Okay. And what is the differentiation? Differentiation is uh, how do you differentiate your particular product with okay. the others, okay. like offering different things, okay. uh, which use uh, IT. Like uh, just I told you that there are uh, point of sale systems on the retail stores, or okay. you have the monitors installed in the, com in the library, All right. or even the ATMs. Okay. You would like to go to the bank where there is a ATM, okay. so that you can go to there, okay, draw your money anytime, All right. instead of waiting for the next day. So to it's the differences between the machines. Between the machines used. and the products All they right. are offering. Right. Sir, so, uh, what would be the innovation in this sector? Innovation means uh, you can have something new in your product. Okay. Like these courier services are not uh, tr tracking of your package through internet websites. All right, all right. So that you don't have to, you don't have to go to that particular courier okay. and ask if, if my package reached the per destination or not. So basically, we can order things online through courier you can, now. Yes, you can order things, and you can if you are sending your some letters through a courier, you can keep track of okay. track of that letter online through online. these machines. Yes, and as well as if you want to get your money deducted online as well, you can give them your account number. Yes, okay. you can do that. Okay. But that is very 
crucial. <laughs> crucial. They don't uh, in fact they encourage it. Yes, exactly. Because anybody who knows your password might be might misusing be using it. it. Exactly, yes. sir. So, what uh, is the growth promotion? Growth promotion is that use IT to manage regional and global business expansions. Okay. Like eBay is uh, eBay or Amazon is in America okay. website, but okay. you you can use. Uh, uh, Amazon facilities like purchasing things. Uh, Amazon is sp specialized in books. Okay. Okay. And in any part of the world. In any part, from any part of the world, you can uh, order the books. book, exactly. purchase the book, and get it online. So, in fact, they have increased their sales mm -hmm. outside America. Oh, right. All right. That All is right. expansion. Okay. Okay. And what is the, the more user diversity and integrate into other products and services? Okay. Okay. And the last one, I believe, is develop. Alliance. Developing alliance, exactly. yes. Developing alliance means that through internet you can develop alliance with the other companies. And grow your business And as grow well. your business. There are mergers that are being done internationally as well as nationally. Sitting here yes. you can have a merger with a company in America by just uh, growing your alliances and developing it. Uh, not only merging but you can have their which what we call virtual organizations that you okay. can interact with them through, co through internet okay. and you can grow your business. So basically, oh. these were all the strategic uses, sir? Yes, strategic uses. Okay. Yeah. So what do we have next? We have the advantages of these strategic uses. Okay. Like I have some examples here. This in the cost, from when you talk of the co uh, costing, mm -hmm. their computers are using their online orders. Oh, okay. okay. So that lowers their cost. All right. And the eBay using online auctions. Okay. Which is their auction, auction set prices. Instead of setting their price, they are allowing auctioners to set, set their, their, own, uh, their prices. own prices. Okay, the, they bid there, I believe. Yes. Okay, that's great. And when we talk of the differentiation, this Moin Incorporated, they are using online computer design to increase their uh, market. Okay. And they are, uh, they are designing their products to, uh, uh, according to the custom requirements, what okay. we call the custom made products. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. And similarly, these uh, consolidated freightways, th they are using customer online shipment tracking, like I told you, and they are increasing their market share through exactly. that. As we discussed earlier. As we discussed as well. earlier. And sir, so in the innovation? In innovation, this uh, FedEx is using online package tracking. As we discussed earlier yes, as uh, well. <laughs> and when we come to growth, sir? In growth, this Walmart company, they are merchandising order by network. Okay, okay. So they are increasing in global market. And their name is as well as becoming popular. Popular. And this uh, Twice R Us is very famous Twice company. They are using point of sales inventory tracking. Okay. So their market market leadership is increasing. And not only that, but uh, I was reading somewhere, this Twice R Us, they allow their user, their uh, suppliers to keep track of their inventory. Okay. So that the suppliers can supply the inventory before it runs out. Okay, okay. So it is easy at both the ends to Easy on, on both the ends. And in, in Alliance, this Procter & Gamble, this automatic inventory replenished made by suppliers, like okay. in the Walmart. Okay. And they are reduced in, in through that, they are, redu they are reducing inventory costing instead of placing order and then waiting for the inventory. And the, the cost is also wasted. So in okay. simple words, instead of just uh, assuming how many things they want or how many products do they want to make, they just go for an on online survey or the demand that no, are supp being suppliers are keeping track of their inventory. Exactly. So they don't have, have to order it okay. through telephone something. Okay, okay. So telephone cost is cut and your uh, items are reaching before time. Before time. And then you even know that if you are going to run out of them before time. Before time. That's right. great. That's great. So we come to an end? Yes, we come to the end. It with this, uh, we come to the end of today's program and I hope that you have learned a lot. I believe it's not a very difficult subject not and it will be easy through this program to understand what basically manage management information system is all about. And Thank you. And we'll be talking of uh, many items in more detail in the, in the, next, in program. the next program. Thank you very much and goodbye.